Howdy campers, welcome to your 20th Node.js tutorial and in this video I'm going to introduce you to the Node Package Manager or for short the NPM. Okay then Doug, so in the last tutorial I showed you how we can perform some basic routing like this and we discovered that this way of doing it could quite possibly become tiresome when we have many pages on our application. Now fortunately there is a package called Express which can really help us slim this down and create web applications on Node. But to do that, to use it, first of all we're going to have to talk a little bit about the Node Package Manager. Now the Node Package Manager, or NPM for short, comes installed with Node.js when you install that. And basically it's just a bunch of command line tools which can help us install third party packages or modules if you like to help out with our Node projects. So Express is one of these packages and there are many, many more. It is a huge ecosystem of third party packages. That's why Node.js is so great. So a Node package is essentially just a bunch of code that someone else has already written, right? And it helps us perform a certain type of task within Node.js applications. For example, the Express package helps us with routing and templating and such. So the idea is, is that we can load these packages into our Node application and then use their functionality in our code. And the way we do that is by using the Node Package Manager. So using the Package Manager, we can install packages, update packages, or even publish our own packages for other people to use as well. Okay then gang, so I am on the Node Package Manager website which keeps track of all these packages available to us and that's at npmjs.com, I'll leave the link down below. And basically here we can just search for what packages are available to us and it's going to give us information about those packages and tell us how to install them. So let's just go ahead and search for Express and it's going to give us some drop down options, some suggestions right here but I'm just going to click search. And then any package relating to Express is going to show up for us and we can click on one of these packages to tell us more about it. So I just want to take a look at Express itself. So I'll click that and then it's going to tell us how to install Express and many more things. So you can see installation tells us how to do, uh, how to do that. The features of Express, some docs, uh, the GitHub page, etc. So there's loads of information about this package here. So this is a great resource if you're looking for something to add into your application. So let's go ahead and install one then. We'll use this command right here, npm install express in Node.js and that's going to go ahead and install express in our application. So remember this command line. So, so remember this command. So let's go over to our application, come to the terminal and all we have to say is npm install express and if we run that then this is going to take just a minute or so it's going to go out it's going to grab all of those files and it's going to in, uh, download them into our node.js application and you can see already it's created this node modules folder so it's fully installed now and if i open this up you're going to see huge amounts of folders now don't worry don't let this put you off you can see express is right here and this is the module we installed. However, it's also installed all these other modules or packages, if you like, and they are dependencies. So Express depends on these other things, these other modules. So Node has recognized that and it's installed these other modules or packages, if you like, as well. So we don't need to work with those other packages directly. We've just installed Express. It's just that it's installed these other modules so that Express can work properly, okay? So anyway, now if we wanted to, we could use Express in our application. I'm not going to do that in this tutorial. I'm just introducing you to the package manager. We're going to do that in a couple of tutorials time. So I'm going to uninstall that for now. So how do we do that? Well, all we have to do is say npm uninstall no, um, Express. And then again, this is just going to take a minute. It's going to cycle through all of these folders and files and it's going to uninstall them for you. So when this finishes, we should see in this folder just the bin folder now. So it's taken those folders out. Okay, cool. So this is the Node Package Manager and how we use it to install packages that we can use in our application. 
So in the next tutorial, I'm going to introduce you to a file called package.json. And this file is going to help us keep track of all the packages we install, how they can be updated, and it's also going to help you when you pass your code on to other developers. It's going to tell them what they need to install for this application to work. Okay? So we'll take a look at that in the next tutorial. Any questions so far, leave those down below. Otherwise, guys, don't forget to share, subscribe, and like, and I'm going to see you in the very next tutorial.